Hello everyone, welcome to VT Studios, and today I'm finally upgrading my PC. It's really cool because I found a really good deal on an X79 motherboard and a 3930K, which is a 6-core 12-thread CPU. I'm really excited and I'm going to be doing this uh, entire little um, upgrade video, and in part 2 I'm going to be doing loads of benchmarks. Once that's done, I'll put in a, a link in the description and a card above once I have actually finished part two as well, which will mainly be benchmarks, and my final thoughts on the upgrade. So thank you everyone for watching, and uh, I'll let myself, uh, my previous self, talk you through uh, what happened exactly. Hello everyone, and uh, I am here with my new motherboard here. It's the uh, P9X79 Pro from Asus. It's a really cool board. I just bought it second hand. The only issue I saw when I bought it was uh, there were two pins on the 3.0 header that were slightly bent, bent them back into place, it was a bit of a mission, but anyway, it has Bluetooth support, which is really cool, I don't think Wi-Fi, but it does have two USB, apparently 3.1 ports, but I think it's probably 3.0, it's got three, uh, 2.0 and a plus another two 2.0 over here, audio jacks, etc, I don't have a camera shot for you, but it's all there, then I've got eight DIMM slots, that's really cool, um, pretty excited it can support up to 128 gigs of ECC but I don't think I'll be using that so 64 gigs of standard DDR3 RAM I'm sorry about the noise in the background that's just uh, some water trickling so <laughs> can't really stop that and the wind as well which has decided to come into play but obviously my actual editing stuff will be doing most of this talking it's got onboard power and reset buttons, it's got a TPU switch for automatic overclocking, it's got loads of fan headers, one, two, three, four, five, six fan headers, I think. Probably missing one or two, but that's, uh, it's really cool, it's got the standard 8-pin and 24-pin, it's upgrading from my current 4-pin, and uh, it's got four PCI Express 16 slots, although these are 8 times and these are 16, like two 1 time slots. The LAN port is dead apparently, says the person who previously owned the board, but he included a, um, a PCI Express to uh, gigabit LAN as well. Oh, that's pretty cool. My dog jumping off there. So, to go on top of this 3930K, I have got a uh, Cobra RGB 120, um, which is really cool. Uh, I've actually got the box here, might as well show you. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's not the best water cooler in the world, but I got it fairly cheap considering uh, most other coolers out there. So it should be able to cool it. I'm not planning to go stupidly high on the overclocks, probably around 4.2, 4.4 if I can. And uh, yeah, I'm not expecting stupidly high overclocks. So let's uh, install everything. Let's just unbox the cooler quickly. All right, so I've got the cooler here. I'm just going to, uh, it's brand new as well, so that's pretty cool. Just unhook that, and I've got my, uh, I've already opened this up once just to make sure everything is okay. So I've got my RGB, which is pretty cool, uh, it's got a little remote control there, and then I have the actual cooler here. So it's quite a big base, it has support for 2011 natively, so that's nice. And then I've got the included 120 more fan, or is that 140? I'm not too sure. Um, and all the mounting hardware here, including a few adapters and stuff. And then some extra screws, LGO 2011, I'll need that. So let's get those out. I've got a whole separate packet just for LGO 2011. And some thermal paste as well, that's pretty helpful. Is that all we need? Oh, plus obviously the four screws out of here. These are the uh, the screws that we need. I'm using two different cameras today, which are pretty cool. One of them is slightly higher quality than the other one, you'll probably notice that. The one I'm filming on right now is actually the slightly lower quality one, but that's okay. Right, so I'll take off all of the... Uh, covering on this. It's a bit, uh, got a bit of moisture on it, probably because of condensation that's occurred because of its, uh, it's been quite hot, so it's a cold loop and it's actually quite a lot of water. Uh, <laughs> I have to make sure this is dry before I put it on the motherboard. So I've got one 
that's completely wet. Uh, one fan header here for the pump, and then I've got my uh, large base there for comparison. There's my finger. Not that you know how big that is, but uh, a bit of a comparison there. I'm going to try and dry this off, and I'll be back momentarily. All right, so it's been a while, but uh, I've managed to get all the condensation off, or at least the very large majority of it, and clean off the block and get all of the uh, plastic off. And now it's time to mount it all to the motherboard. Okay, so um, I have my little packet of 2011 screws, which I'll be mounting up to the front plate, as some call it. This is included on most of the LGA 2011 boards. Just have to make sure which way these go first by referring to the joyful manga. Um, so let's just put these on here. It's almost like a motherboard standoff, except it kind of does. It's a similar kind of screw. I'll show you in a second. But this, that's not going to focus, but it's basically just a screw that has another screw on it instead of the motherboard standoffs which are basically screws with um, screw holes in them, so you can screw on the motherboard. Should do. I'm gonna go grab some RAM because I appear to. Oh, I've done something wrong. Okay. So the thing I forgot was thumb based. Some of you may have realised this if you know how to build PCs. So let me take off the little cap. Just put. Okay, so there we go. Um, we've got a little bit of thumb paste. You need to put a fair amount on 2011, so I'm just going to put a bit like that, maybe a little bit more because it is a fairly big CPU, I've got enough left in that tube in case I need to do this again for whatever reason. Okay, so let's do that whole process again, mount this on here. Nice and steadily, and then put these on here. Put this on here. And we look at the last case. Camera one is about to die, so I'm going to do it quickly. Uh, I have my graphics card, I just temporarily. Uh, I got an HD 6770, which I reviewed the other day. I'll probably pop up a little card there if you want to watch that. Uh, it's not my main GPU, but it'll do the testing if the PCI planes work. And just pop that into the top slot. 
go. And grab my band, uh, my connector, six pin power, and plug that in like so. Right, it's not the most sturdy, but it'll do. And let's test it. Well, it didn't explode, and uh, as one of the cameras can see better than the other, the LEDs did come up. So, I do believe that this may be working. Water is flowing through there, I can kind of... Well, can sort of hear it over there. And, um, yeah, the LEDs look pretty cool. I'm going to stop the recording on camera one because it's going to die and I'll film the rest of the uh, procedure of me putting everything into the new case or the, no, not the new case, the standard case just quickly back on uh, camera 2, because camera 1 died um, my LEDs and my remote actually do work as we can see if I press green, green, blue, red well that's more orange than red, red is that one, there we go um, Yellow, very light blue, pink. I like RGB. It's cool. I'll probably be leaving it on like a like blue for now, and then because my my current fans are blue and stuff. That is not particularly good lighting. <laughs> okay. Um. Back to camera two because yeah, camera one. That's busy charging, but camera two is better quality. So we shall see. Um, for a good angle. I'm going to time lapse this because, yeah. Also, I did forget to put the RAM on the board. You probably spotted that. It came on anyway. Postcode 65, I believe, is RAM, so that's all good. All right, let the uh, time lapse begin. <laughs> Okay, so, 
um, I realised that I left two of the standoffs that were in the case here and here and that's a 4 micro ATX and that doesn't support ATX so I was getting the motherboard touching metal which isn't bad so I took it all out and yeah I made two mistakes but what's PC building without a few mistakes that you can learn from that I'll probably make again next time <laughs>